All right, guys, welcome to another awesome tutorial. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about vectors. Now, a vector in R is a little bit different. Actually, it's a lot different than a vector in math or physics because a vector in R programming is basically just a list of items. So there are a couple of different rules, and it's kind of weird how to make vectors, but they are incredibly useful, and we're going to be working with them a ton, especially helpful dealing with a bunch of data. So how do you create a vector? Well, you start out by just creating a normal variable. Let's just go ahead and name this, uh, I'll just name it B for Bucky. So we're gonna make two vectors. The first one is B1 for, I don't know, got nothing else to name it. And act like you're making a variable, except for the value, you need to type the letter C. Now what C does is it's actually a function to combine a list of items. So the first thing we can do is just make a vector of numbers or a list of numbers. So let's just put one, two, three, four, five. So this is a vector called B1. And now let me make another one called B2. And in addition to making a list of numbers, you can also make a list of text or words. So let's just name this one. Let's just put a list of names in here. Bucky, Haas. Emma. All right, good enough. So basically, we made two lists. We made one called B1, which stored a bunch of numbers, and another called B2, which stored a bunch of names. Now, anytime you want to output a vector, you just type the name of it. So B1, B2, highlight it, run it, check it out. So this is vector one, this is vector two. All right, pretty freaking uh, dumb. I mean, we can make a list of items. What What's the use in that? Well, the cool thing about vectors is you can perform mathematical operations to every single item in a vector incredibly simply or incredibly simple. I don't know how to say, it. I don't know how to talk. And what I'm talking about is this. You can do things like B1 and multiply it by, let's say two. And whenever you run this, actually, let me get rid of this. We don't need those anymore. And whenever you run this, check it out. It takes that entire list, which was five items, one, two, three, four, and five, and it multiplied every single item by two, two, four, six, eight, ten. So instead of having to type, you know, five different lines of code and multiplying each one by two, we can do it all in one single line. And that's also a little different than other program languages because other program languages, you need to make something called a loop to do this and with R it's incredibly easy. Now some other cool functions that you can do is if you use, I don't even know what's called the caret maybe, above the six on your keyboard, it looks like an up arrow. What this is gonna do is it's gonna take all of these items and you can actually use uh, any exponent right here but it's pretty much, pretty much gonna do one to the power of three, two to the power of three, three to the power of three. So let's go ahead and run that right now. So you see 1, 8, 3 to the power of 3 is 27, 4 to the power of 3, 64, so forth and so forth. So that's pretty cool. And an even cooler one is you can actually take this vector and throw the entire thing inside a function. So if you want to do the square root, the name for that is SQRT, and you can type B1 in there. And now what this is going to do is it's going to get the square root of that entire list. So the square root of one is one, so on and so forth. A lot faster than, you know, if you just had a calculator or something like that. So that is basically how you create a very simple vector and how you perform a few operations to your vector. But trust me, we are just, we didn't even, uh, what's it called? Like you didn't even get started with it. These vectors are incredibly powerful and the things I'm gonna be teaching you guys in the upcoming tutorials they're going to blow your mind. So for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.